The customer called me complaining about smelling mice inside the house and I just went inside and talked to them and it does in fact smell like mice inside. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what I do for a service like this. After I inspected the inside, they didn't really have any signs of mice inside. So this house has a crawl space. The number one thing I do for a mouse problem, if there are no signs inside, is check out and bait the crawl space. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to be crawling inside this crawl space and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I got the contract mice bait I'm going to be using today. I've got a headlamp, some gloves, and we're going to hop inside. There's the entrance right there. Always be sure to wear gloves when you're handling mice bait. Put my headlamp on over my hat. And let's go ahead and peek inside and see how it looks. They said there was a vapor barrier and it looks like there is. Pull this out. All right, so here we go into the crawl space. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, I already see some mice droppings right underneath me here, guys. Alright, insulation between the floor joists. That's a pretty big sign that that's probably where the mice are going to be hiding. Before we get started here, today's video is sponsored by BrioStack. BrioStack is a pest control software that my company uses to run all of its pest control operations. The software does everything in the pest control industry, and I will explain more about BrioStack and how it helps my company in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and get back into this mice. Whenever I get into a house inspecting for mice, I usually will crawl around the entire perimeter. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm looking for inside this crawl space. There's a little extra coordination for me today. I've got the mice bait in one hand. This is a poison bait. It's an anticoagulant and the mice feed on it. If you look closely at the mice bait here, it has little pieces of grain and seed inside of it. That's what attracts the mice to feed on it. The other stuff is just the poison, all that blue stuff that helps hold the block together. It's blue like this because it helps the pest control industry people know when mice are feeding on it. I just broke the, uh, the selfie stick, so I'm gonna have to wing it with one hand now. All right, I can definitely smell the mice. I can smell the mice inside here. What I normally do for a house is I determine like what area of the house has the mice population because they only forage for food about 30 feet away from their main nest. In some bigger houses, that can definitely just be like one side of the house as opposed to another. But this house is a little smaller, so I'm going to go ahead and inspect the whole crawl space here and bait the whole crawl space. Whenever I do the whole crawl space, I basically just start going to the right or to the left and make my way around the whole perimeter, putting baits around the perimeter. So we're going to go ahead and start going to the right here. Let's see what we got here, guys. One of the first things I've noticed already is there's kind of just an excess of leaves right here. And normally there shouldn't really be a bunch of leaves under a house like this. And I don't know if you guys can tell, that almost looks like a tunnel right through there. But it looks like there might be some nesting in this area right here. But also another sign here is the insulation. And when there is insulation in a house like this, guys, that's almost always where the mice are going to be nesting. The insulation above me is a mouse family's paradise. It's so warm and they're able to easily make tunnels through it. But I am going to go ahead and put a mice bait up here on this ledge. So here's the bait block. Just going to set it right up there. And it's not rocket science. Obviously guys, you just kind of set it up there. This house, you see, it doesn't have a true foundation around the perimeter. It just has these support columns. A lot of times I'll recommend customers not to have insulation in the crawl space between the floor joists like this. But in this case, this customer is actually benefiting from having all this insulation. The blocks around the house are normally pretty insulating. You know, crawl space, no matter what time of year you go in it, it's always about the same temperature. You know, in the summer, it's cooler, and in the winter, it's warmer. This customer definitely needs the insulation in between these floor joists in order to maintain the house at the correct temperature. As far as what the customer could do, really not a lot with the actual insulation here. It's just kind of part of it. Let's go ahead and continue crawling around this way. Whenever you go inside, 
a crawl space, you gotta just be prepared to get a little dirty, a little bit of spider webs. I found some mice activity right above me, so. See how this insulation in between these floor joists, how it's ripped open, and there's a tunnel on the left there, and the insulation looks dirty. There's a tunnel on the right. I mean, that's actually a pretty major looking tunnel there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. All right, see that tunnel there? Right into there, guys. That's what the mice do. They just bury, they just dig through this insulation and it's just the perfect nesting area for them. Whenever I see a little heavier activity like that, I'll go ahead and put another mice bait up there. I grabbed five mice bait blocks today. I might go get a couple more, depending on how heavy the infestation looks. But the contract label, another benefit of watching my videos is that I always read the label for you guys. So you should always read the label, but you don't have to because I told you what to do. The label says put one contract bait every eight to 10 linear feet of infestation. I would say where that other one is back there, probably about 10 feet away from me. So put another one right here. I'm just going to set it up on this ledge again, just like the last one. It's right back there. So the mice will find it. The mice are always running around looking for food. And these floor joists across here from these cinder blocks are just perfect highways for them to run back and forth looking for food. Let's continue crawling on through back here, guys. As I was saying earlier, guys, today's video is sponsored by BrioStack. BrioStack is a software company. They specialize in software specifically for the pest control industry. My company has been using BrioStack for three and a half years, and it's been nothing but absolutely amazing. It's incredibly powerful, and I would do it an injustice to try to explain all of the things that BrioStack does. But just for example, BrioStack allows me to very simply and quickly and efficiently enter in the information that I have to enter in for every single appointment I do. So for example, today I'm using contract MySpace and all that information can be pre-entered in BrioStack. So, so myself as a technician, I don't have to enter in EPA number. I don't have to write out the product name, the active ingredients. I don't have to write out exactly where I put it. It's all pre-entered guys. You can even make a quick application and that's what we do for the mice bait because it's such a common service that we do. Pre-enter the mice bait, for example, and you say I'm using five contract place packs and it's in the crawl space and it's every eight to 12 feet. Like I told you guys, you can click that pre-entered application and with just one tap i've got the whole product entered in to the brio stack appointment record that gets sent to the customer it gets saved in brio stacks records they also keep all of your information super super securely stored which is an amazing feature that as a technician you know i wouldn't think about but as an owner of the company that is super important to make sure all the records that myself and the employees are entering in is kept if you guys are interested in a free demonstration of brio stack i'm going to put a link in this video and in the description of exactly how to get a free demonstration, the amazing team at BrioSec will reach out to you ASAP and get you scheduled for a demonstration. If you do end up switching over to BrioStack, they will give you up to 50% off the initial setup only if you mention that you found out through BrioStack through Dan the Bugman, my pest control channel, and I thank you guys so much for watching. A lot of this insulation is falling down actually which is not good. And there's this much insulation down. Sometimes it means there's a really bad mice infestation. Look there, see guys? See that acorn shell? I guarantee you that did not just magically appear there. Mice brought that in to this crawl space. Oh man, there's some more, more big tunnels where, where it just falls through. So the mice can really mess up your insulation, guys. I'm gonna put another bait block up there. Perfect. I get pretty good at throwing those things if I don't say so myself. Sometimes I'm really good at throwing it up on ledges like that. Let me see if I can get a mice bait up there on that ledge. And if not, I promise I'll go get it. One, two, dang it. Let me try again. I'm getting rusty guys, shame on me. The insulation falls down for a couple reasons, either because it wasn't put up properly in the first place or because there are rats or mice or even like raccoons or possums nesting in the insulation, bringing in moisture, bringing in nuts, bringing in their body weight. And that makes the insulation fall down. They burrow through it, it gets unlodged and you get a crawl space that just has insulation falling 
down everywhere. And it's quite expensive to replace insulation, guys. I've done insulation jobs before and it's dirty and it's sweaty and it's nasty work. And if you hire a professional company to remove and install new insulation, I guarantee you it's going to cost you a lot of money. So just having a normal pest control service to prevent mice or any other critters from getting into your crawl space <coughs> is uh, it's highly recommended in my opinion, my biased opinion. There's just more, more tunneling here, guys. The insulation does not come with tunnels in it. The mice create a tunnel like that one. See that one right there? They also dig holes in the plastic like that one. Fun fact, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the word rodent was derived from a Latin word that means to chew or to gnaw on something. I don't know if you guys have seen mice or rat teeth, but they're always huge teeth. They chew on things that they, they don't even eat. They just chew on things to keep their teeth sharp. Mice and rats will chew on everything in your crawl space. I mean, they'll even chew through wires, guys, and that creates a fire hazard. It's going <laughs> to... I know you guys don't want your internet to go out. They'll chew through internet, telephone wires, electricity wires. You name it, they will chew it just because they like chewing on things. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and crawl some more, guys. Like I said, the house isn't too big, but I think I'm going to have to go get some more mice bait to put under here. Definitely going to let the customer know that the insulation is falling down. You know, most people don't go under your houses. That's kind of a dirty part of pest control is going under people's houses, letting them know how it looks. I find leaky pipes all the time, guys. And I was actually just thinking, I don't think I've ever featured a, a live mouse on my channel they're so hard to find i mean i only see live mice every once in a while doing job they're really good at hiding so you know as soon as you open the door in a crawl space even if it's infested the mice are going to scatter and you're never going to see them the mice are just hard to get on camera they're camera shy so maybe one day i will get a mice on camera for you guys i know there's not a ton of live pests in today's video but hopefully there's a ton of good information i think i just spilled to you guys this is just so obvious i don't know what other information you need that this is a, a mice problem obviously the customer smelt the mice and i smelt them too how would this acorn get inside here and all of these acorn shells leaves guys mice just they just make a mess out of everything and i always look for termites when i'm in a crawl space too i haven't seen any termites in here you gotta have hardy elbows hardy hands hardy knees let me put this mice bait right up here oh and also the the tops of my boots i actually got these boots from a, a great boots company called brunt um i got these boots that have like an extra protection on the toe because whenever i'm crawling in a crawl space you know, my toe is always pushing against the soil, and that's usually where my boots wear first, is right on the toe. Ah, uh, here's a bug for you guys. I knew I wouldn't get out of this crawl space without finding a bug. If you guys can tell me what that is, you get a prize. That's a camel cricket, of course. You should know what that is by now. <sighs> long antennas. They live in moisture areas and dark areas, and they have super long antennas and super long legs. But just the number of acorns, there's more acorns right there, guys. Actually, this area smells even more like mice. Oh, there's a, yeah, this, this customer's probably had mice for a couple years. Honestly, there's so much activity. And yeah, like I said, the smell of mice, it's, it's not actually the physical mice that are smelling, but it's the, it's the urine, it's the droppings, and it's the dead mice that makes that, that mouse smell that I've come to love. Smells, smells like money, <laughs> like roaches. Roaches and mice have a pretty distinct smell. Um, although termites are a lot of money too. They don't, they don't really have a smell. So <laughs> anyways, there's a tunnel there guys. I mean, no telling how far back it goes. And then another tunnel right there. And that's what happens. It, it just, you see it start to fall, fall down like that. It's funny guys. You see, hear that fly? Sometimes flies are attracted into crawl spaces when I leave the door open because they can smell it or they can sense the moisture and they'll fly in here and then fly out. All right, final example of mice activity here. There's mice hair, there's droppings, there's little pieces of hay, acorn shells, and this is all on the ground. And that's because it fell from up there. So I can guarantee you that there was a major mouse nest in here before it came crumbling to the ground and then i'm sure they just moved to the next 
floor joist over and started a new nest. That's what I would have done if I was a mouse. And as far as, uh, I've gotten a bunch of comments before about the uh, MySpace being put in crawl spaces like I just did. Some people say that it is against the label to put MySpace in a crawl space like this, but that's simply not true. I've read the label many, many a times, and the label says that it has to be in a tamper-proof bait station unless it's in an area that is not exposed to non-target animals or humans or pets or anything like that. This area is not exposed to any non-target animals. It's completely sealed. It has a door that locks. There's no openings around this whole crawl space, so there's not gonna be any pets or any children crawling in here. So that is totally per the label to put my spait exposed in a crawl space like this. Whoever comments saying it's against the label, uh, just read the label next time. <laughs> I've even had some of my technicians that had worked at previous pest control companies tell me that that was against the label because the, their other company told them, you know, sometimes it is kind of nice just to chill out under crawl space in between while I'm doing a stop. Yeah, so I'm gonna crawl back out here, get a couple more my spades and throw them in there. So let me do that real quick. A little heavier infestation than I predicted for this size house, especially. Back to the outside world. <sighs> all right, so I got three more mice bait blocks here, guys. I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm gonna put some around the entrance here because I hadn't put any by the entrance last time. The last thing I wanted to mention in today's video is just uh, in general how to keep mice out of your home. So make sure you have a properly sealed crawl space or just home in general you know make sure there's no holes that are big under the house make sure there's no holes into the eaves of your house or on the attic or you know just in general and sometimes that's hard to do i tell customers it's it's impossible to completely mouse proof a home they're just so small no matter what you do they're going to find a small little area but if there's anything obvious try to seal that up the main thing to do is eliminate any food sources around the house and eliminate any shelter areas around the house. Make sure there's no dog or cat food laying out, no bird seed laying out, no human food, no trash that mice or rats can get into. And also make sure there's no big like leaf piles around the house. There's those flies trying to get in like I was telling you. Um, make sure there's no like big brush leaf piles around the house where the mice are going to nest. You have a bunch of mice nests around your house they're going to find their way into your house eventually. So just make sure your landscaping is clean and neat. Make sure there's no big piles of wood next to your house, just stuff like that. Just in general, that's what you have to do to keep pests away from your house. And there's always preventative mice bait and pesticide applications that you can do. And that's what I'm in business for, but I also give customers a lot of my knowledge about how to prevent them yourself but sometimes bugs and pests they just do what they do no matter how there's no shelter areas the the mice the rats the termites the spiders the mosquitoes they're gonna find you eventually so thank you guys so much for watching dan the Bugman, and i hope everyone has a pest free day